In this short video we'll explain how to use our simple calculator. We'll cover all the features of our basic calculator. Every basic calculator has an equals key. A key for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. We'll also look at the other features of the calculator. Starting out with something simple. We'll take 8 and then add 16. That equals 24. The C key will clear the calculator and start you back at 0. Let's start with 12 and subtract 4. That equals 8. Again, clear the calculator. OK, let's try multiplication. Let's start with 6 and multiply by 6. That equals 36. OK, clear the calculator. Now for division. Start with 12 and divide by 2. That equals 6. That covers the basics of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Sometimes we don't have whole numbers, and we have to deal with decimal places. We can use the decimal point key here. If we start with 10.5 and then add 6, this gives us 16.5. OK, clear the calculator. The plus minus button takes the value and converts it from a positive value to a negative value or a negative to a positive value. If we key in 12 plus and then 5, then press the plus minus button to make the 5 negative and then press equals. That equals 7. Pressing the plus minus button switches between negative and positive numbers. OK, clear the calculator. The delete key is very helpful when we make mistakes. If I start with 12 and I want to subtract 8, but I hit the 9 by mistake. I can use the delete key to delete the last number I typed and then enter the correct number. OK, clear the calculator. Let's try some of the other function keys. This is the square key. It will take whatever value I key in and square it. It will multiply it by itself. If I key in 10 and press the square key, we'll get 100. That is, 10 multiplied by 10 equals 100. OK, clear the calculator. Now, let's try the square root key. Square roots are really the opposite of squares. If you remember, squares are numbers getting multiplied by themselves. The square root of a number is the value, which when multiplied by itself, gives the original number. Squares and square roots are vice versa methods. For example, the square of 2 is 4 and the square root of 4 is 2. Again, if I want to find the square root of 9, I key 9 and then hit the square root key. That equals 3. OK, clear the calculator. Now let's try the fraction key, or 1 over x key. This is also called the reciprocal key. If I key in 2 and then press the fraction key, I will get a fraction with 1 over 2. 1 divided by 2 equals 0 0.5. OK, clear the calculator. On to the percent key. The percent key is super useful if you want to work out discounts on items in the store and calculating the tax on those items. For example, you might be shopping and want to buy something that costs $20. But there's 12% tax that's not shown in the price. You can easily use the calculator to work out the total cost. 12% of 20 is $2.40. Key in 20, then percent, then 12, and press the equals button. You'll see, we get 2.4 or $2.40. OK, clear the calculator. You can do the same calculation by keying in 20 multiplied by 12%. OK, clear the calculator. If you want to find your total cost, simply use the addition key. Key in 20 plus 12% and press the equals key. You'll get 22.4 or $22.40. As you can see, very useful. Now clear the calculator. Now what about discounts on items? Let's say everything in the store is 20% off, and you want to buy something priced at $20. Key in 20, minus 20%, and press equals. That comes to $16. But there is still 12% tax on that, so we'll add that now. Key in, plus 12%. So now, we're paying $17.92.
OK, clear the calculator. Something a little more advanced is the use of parentheses to control the order of calculations. The two parentheses keys let you decide which part of the calculation happens first. For example, if I key 2 plus 3 multiplied by 2 and then press the equals key, that equals 8. The reason it equals 8 is because the multiplication happens before the addition. What I really wanted to do was add 2 to 3 and then multiply by 2. We can do that with parentheses. OK, clear the calculator. I key open parenthesis followed by 2 plus 3 then close parenthesis. Then multiply by 2. Now the answer is 10 instead of 8. We also have a history of your last 10 calculations here that you can select from. If you close the page and open it again later, the calculator remembers what you were working on the last time. Hopefully, that's helped you understand how to use some of the basic calculator features.